Thank you, loving God. You know, we can trust the Lord with all of our heart. Amen. 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 I do want to clarify something. We're not in any way trying to be rude to anybody. We love you. We don't want to get you sick. Yes, well, that's right. Okay, my wife has been ill, and we know that Rosemary just got out of the hospital not too long ago. So we don't want to get her sick. Yes. Okay, it's not that we're afraid of getting cooties or something. <laughs> But uh, and I don't know that my wife is infectious, okay. But as you know, she has been ill, and so she doesn't want to give that to anyone, especially someone, anyone, but especially someone that has just gotten out of the hospital recently. Yeah. And uh, their immune system may be weak. Okay. So that's where we're coming from. Okay. We're, we're concerned about you. Want to spread love, not germs. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to our Bible reading tonight. We're going to be in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. And we're going to begin, or we're going to read verse 8. Very familiar to all of us. Uh -huh. I'm glad that the Lord doesn't change. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can count on him. He's not going to be different tomorrow. Doesn't matter what this world does, it's not going to change him. Okay, so let's let's read this here. Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. And we want to use this tonight, and with the help of the Lord, I want to preach a message entitled Change for the Better. You know, God can't get any better. He's perfect. All right. Amen. But there's there are some folks that can get better. Amen. All of us. Amen. Yes, that's right. Thank God we can change for the better. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. And Reverend Coker, sir, will you pray for us? Wonderful, Father. We come before you in Jesus' name. We thank you for this time of worship for each one that's here. Father, let a fresh touch and rest upon Pastor Pope. Speak to hearts by your word, by your eternal spirit. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank God. Thank God for the unchanging Savior, brother and sister, that as we read to you, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Another place the Bible tells us he is the Lord our God, and he changes not. Right. You know, we can depend on him. You don't have to worry that uh, God is going to be any different than he has been. You don't have to worry if he's able to handle what comes along, well, things are getting kind of bad, Pastor. I don't wonder if God's able to handle it. God can handle anything and everything. <laughs> yeah, not right. He knows exactly what's going on, yes. and he, he allows things to happen to fulfill his will. As we're learning in the book of Romans, have been learning, he is sovereign. He is the one that's in charge. Yeah. Okay, He is the one that is in control, mm -hmm. and things are going according to the plan of God. Amen? Amen. Things Amen. are going to, according to the plan of God, and I'm glad that Jesus doesn't change. You know, we hopefully have come to the realization through experience, not just because we heard it or read it in the Bible, and that's a good thing. It's a good thing to hear the Word of God, and it's a good thing to read the Word of God, but thank God we can experience the Word of God in our lives. And we've come to the realization that God is everything that he says he is, Amen. and yeah. so much more. We've Amen. come to the realization that God is love. As we shared with you, I think Tuesday, maybe it was Sunday night, okay? We know and we have believed the love that God has towards us, amen? amen. We know, we've experienced it, brothers and sisters. We know that God is love. We know that God is merciful. We know that God is not a man that he lies. We know, brother and sister, that he is faithful. We know, brother and sister, that he's not willing that any should perish but that he wants all to come to repentance. He wants everyone to be saved. And he's made a way for each and every one of us to be saved. And he wants yes. every one of us to be born again of the Spirit of Almighty God. God doesn't change, but thank God he can make a change in anyone's life if they are willing to come to him and trust them with their life. 
Right. If they're yes. willing to turn away from sin and turn away from self-will, open their heart to the Lord, allow him to come in, and he'll do that for anybody. He'll come on in, brother and sister. He'll soak with you and I. He'll fellowship with you and I, and we can fellowship with him. And Jesus will make a change in our lives. A change for the better. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that Jesus forgave me. Amen. I'm so glad that Jesus had mercy on me. I'm so glad that Jesus pardoned me and washed my sin away. And I am so glad that Jesus changed me. He changed my life. I'm glad that we can experience what it means to be born again. That's not uh, a church affiliation. It's not a denomination. It's not like, well, they're Catholic and they're Presbyterian and they're Lutheran and they're born again. No, it's not that way. It's not a denomination, but it's something that anyone can experience if they are willing to put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He can change us, brother and sister. And, you know, we need, we need change, don't we? Amen. Okay? Yeah. And, you know, it's a, we, we need a change in our lives, even if we are saved. We're here tonight, and there are many that are saved, and, and I, uh, I think most would claim to be, brother and sister. We, we can be. Many have been born again, but change doesn't stop. It is not just a one-time change in our life. God changes us, brother and sister, throughout our lives. Amen. Throughout our lives, Amen. God changes you and I because we need to change. Amen? Amen. We need to change for the better. Yeah. You know, there's something else that doesn't change. We, we're in this world, and, and uh, you know, we read how that, that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever in the world, brother and sister. Uh, there's something else that, that doesn't change. People have problems. Amen? We all have problems. I don't think there's anyone that's without problems tonight. Everyone faces things, and Jesus told us that in the world we shall have tribulation, but we are to be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. We're going to have problems in life. It's just a part of life, brother and sister. It is sure okay, that problems come, problems go, but, my friend, it doesn't mean that you and I can't change. It doesn't mean that you and I can't, with the help of the Lord, instead of being defeated by the problems, God can help us to be victorious over the problems in our lives. Amen. Victory doesn't mean that you will never have a problem or a temptation, but it does mean, brother and sister, that we're no longer facing them alone. We're facing our problems and things in our life with Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I'm not alone anymore. Amen. I'm not facing things by myself, but I've got Jesus in my life, and Jesus is able to help me to overcome. We can overcome. Things change, brother and sister, in life. Uh, people change. We need to change. Okay, circumstances, situations, brother and sister. Okay, they may change. Maybe things aren't the way that they used to be. We see this a lot in our society. You know, I see things. I uh, see things on social media. People kind of reminisce about the, the you know the good old days, and they talk about things like, "Well, I grew up when you drank water out of the water hose and you didn't wear a bike helmet." <laughs> and there was lead in the paint, and and all the all the all the playground equipment was dangerous and rusty. That's right, mm -hmm. Steve. Huh? Yeah, right. we used to swing on those swings, and I read that somebody said I used to swing on swings until the poles came out of the ground. I said I remember that. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I remember swinging so high that you thought you were going to flip around the yeah. thing, and then we were crazy enough to jump off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. At the highest point. <laughs> We're still alive. Yes. Amen. We're still here. Okay. May not have been, some of it may not have been the wisest stuff, but we are still here, brother and sister. Things change. We can't go back. Okay. And undo anything, brother and sister. We can't go back. Some things we can't do anything about. It's water under the bridge, it is in the past. Well, you know what we need to do? We need to leave it in the past. Amen. Yes. And we need to go on with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because, brother and sister, not only is he helping us right now, but he's going to help us 
and the future. Yeah. He is the God of the past. He is the God of the present. And he is the God of the future. Yeah. And for those of us who believe, he is God of eternity yeah. for you and I. Amen. He is the Amen. God of eternity. Eternity, brother and sister. It's, we need to look forward. We need to, to press on. We need to go on, brother and sister. God's salvation. God's salvation. What does God do? Brother and sister, we've all had problems. We've all failed. We've all faced that. But God takes a failure. He takes mankind in his, in his failure in sin, and he doesn't leave us that way. Right. He changes us, brother and sister, as we preach on Sunday night. Thank God he takes us from losing, and he makes you and I winners in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He makes us winners, brother and sister. You know, Jesus is not a fair-weathered friend, a fair-weathered friend. Okay, He's not that way. He's not just going to be there when things are going good. He's not just going to be there when, when things are easy, brother and sister. On the contrary, he is with you and I. He is the one, brother and sister, that tells you and I to take his yoke upon us for you and I to join together with him. Do we understand that he's already done all of the heavy lifting? He did what we couldn't do. We would have been lost and we would have had to pay for our own sin. But Jesus took our place on the cross. He took our place in judgment. He descended into hell for you and I. And on the third day, he rose from the dead and he is alive. Amen. And he is alive to help us. He is alive to intercede for us. You know, we have a Savior that the Bible teaches us in the book, book of Hebrews. He is able to be touched with the feeling of our infirmity, brother and sister, our high priest. He can be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Everything that we face, Jesus understands because he lived life upon this earth. He was tempted in all points as you and I, yet without sin. And because of this, he's able to succor. He's able to help you and I. God knows exactly what you're going through. He not only knows, he cares, and he is able to do something about it. Amen. Man, that's comforting to you know. Yes. You know, we pray about things. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are to pray about things. The Bible teaches us to do that. Yeah. Okay, but you know, God already knows what we're praying, what we have need of before we even pray about it. Yeah. He already knows. He's already got the solution and the answer. Okay? And God can help you. He can help us, brother and sister. He is able to work, help us and work things out. Brother and sister, thank God. We can love God. We can absolutely love him in return. We already know that he loves us. As we've shared with you already tonight, he died and took our place in judgment. Yes, upon the cross, but also in hell. He's already paid our price, brother and sister, so that you and I can be set free because he is, he cares. You know, we preached the other night about him being troubled and then about him being stirred. He didn't want that man left in the condition that he was in. Right. Though that man couldn't find anybody that could meet his need, there was one that could, and he did. Amen. Yes. And he did. I don't know, you know, it seems like no one cares and no one knows. Jesus cares and Jesus knows, my friend. He cares and he knows. Listen to this. Man, we come to the Lord. You know, we have an assurance. We can have a confidence in our lives. I want to read something to you out of the book of Romans, chapter 8. Listen to this beginning in verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? God loves you. Hey, you come to him, my friend. You're his. You belong to him. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. You know, we all need the grace and the mercy of Almighty God. Amen. Amen. And we've got it. Yeah. Amen. Yes. We've got it, brother and sister. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril? or sword brother sister nay he said in all these things we are more than conquerors 
We are super victors, brother and sister. We are more than victorious in him that loves us. It's not going to separate you from God. Well, Pastor, I'm facing something in my life. I don't understand why this is going on. Well, we may not understand. God knows. My friend, love God. It's not going to separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's not going to separate you from God. You don't have to. You don't have to fret. We don't have to worry, brother and sister. Psalm 91 and 15. Okay. Thank God we can call upon him. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I, this is God speaking, brother and sister. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Amen. We can trust the Lord, brother and sister. He doesn't make, we don't, we're not made immune from problems, brother and sister. But it does not matter how real, how intense the adversity may be. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. That's right. Come on now. Amen. Praise God. I don't want to be separated. Amen. Amen. Right now. I don't want to be separated. God doesn't want to be separated. Me to be separated. Who's going to separate me? The devil ain't going to separate me. He had me separated. Jesus reconciled me. Amen. Yes. By his death upon the cross. Yes, yes, yes. If I was reconciled when I was an enemy, brother and sister, how much more now am I going to be saved by his life? Yes. All right. I was reconciled by his death. How much more am I saved by his life? What does that mean? If God was willing to forgive me, and bring me into his family when I was his enemy. How much more that I'm in the family right. and he is alive? Yes, right. Can he keep me? Yes. He All can, right. brother and sister. Yes, Thank right. God. You know, these things that we read about, they're not imaginary things. They're very real. And we know that they're real. But as we've shared with you, we've been made more than conquerors because of Jesus. Thank God, brother and sister. Yes, things happen and we may not like them. Okay, but you know what? God is making us. He is changing us for the better. Amen. Just yes. like Jesus, though he were a son, yet learned the obedience by the things that he suffered. Right. You and I may go through some things at times, brother and sister, but God is molding you. He is making yes. you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, loving God. Thank God, brother and sister, we don't have to allow these things to distress us. Thank God we can hold fast to the promises of Almighty God. Brother and sister, we can believe God regardless of what, uh, is, what situations that we face, what, what maybe even sometimes our emotions tell us. We don't walk by sight, brother and sister. We're not to, we're not to lean on our emotions, brother and sister. We stand upon the word of Almighty God. Yes. We stand upon the promises of God, knowing that they are yea and amen. We can allow the Lord to help us, brother and sister. We can take what God has offered to you and I. He's not offering us a religion tonight. He's offering us a relationship. Through his son, yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He's offering us a relationship with him. He wants to empower us, brother and sister. He wants to live in us. Thank God, brother and sister, we have a hope. We have a hope, brother and sister. Our hope is Jesus. He empowers you and I. He changes us. He fills us with his Holy Spirit. Thank God, brother and sister. The, that spirit of Almighty God begins to work in our lives. You know when you when things become uh, when things get kind of rough sometimes. Go read about Paul and what he wrote to the apostle of uh, Timothy. Yes, he said, "Stir up the gift of God that is in you." Yes. Yes. Come on now. Yes. He began to tell that man, "Don't be ashamed of me in my body. Don't 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 fret, Timothy." Right. Oh. Huh? All right. Oh, hallelujah. Stir up that gift of God that is in you. Son, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Timothy. Thank Your you, grandmother Lord. 
father served God. Your mother served yes. God. You served God. Get up, brother. Yes. Get up, sister. Yes. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Oh, let that spirit of God begin to move in your soul. Yes. Let God drive out that fear. Yes. Come on. Praise God, brother and sister, we can do. Philippians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Why don't we start rejoicing? Yes. And when we get done, why don't we just go ahead and rejoice some more? Yes. Yes. Be careful. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. God's here, brother and sister. Yes. He's never left you. He's never forsaken you. Right. He's here right now. Yes. Uh, yes. yes, he's the same yesterday, but he's the same today, church. Amen. He's the same right now. The same God of the Bible. Amen. The same God that spoke creation into existence by the power of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let him talk to you tonight. I got more than a feeling everything's going to be all right. I've got an assurance. Come on now. I've got a promise from God that everything's going to be all right. Let your moderation be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. Stop worrying. Stop fretting. Oh, what's going to happen? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. We can go read the book and find out what's going to happen. Yeah. Huh? The Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout. Yeah. Come yes. on now. Yes. Come on, brother and sister. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank God. He's not sending Moses. He's not sending Abraham. He's coming back to take his church. That's right. Come on. That trumpet's going to sound and the dead in Christ are going to rise first and you and I are going to arrive and remain. We're going to be caught up together and we're going to meet them in the air and we're going to forever be with the Lord. That's what's going to happen. Thank you, Lord. Who cares what this goofy world is doing? We're just biding. We're just waiting, brother and sister. We're not biding time. We're doing God's work. Amen. Okay, but one of these days, yes. as they say, it truly is going to be all over but the shouting. Yes. When you and I step yes. out on the streets yes. of gold, don't you think for one second that you're going to worry about what happened down here? It's all going to be in the past. It's all you're going to be standing in front of Jesus. Yes. Oh, you're going to come to the realization He's kept His word to me. Amen. I'm with Him. Hallelujah. Be careful for nothing, but by but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. You know, when you pray about something, don't doubt. Right. I pray to God, but I don't know if God's going to hear me. Don't pray that way. Right. Pray in faith. Yes. Amen. It tells you right there, pray. Huh? Prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Yes. Pray about it and begin to thank God for it. You know, we come up and we pray for salvation. You pray for mercy. Mm -hmm. Don't come down here and doubt. Right. God is the one that said he would forgive you. Right. Come on now. Yes, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just yes. to forgive our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Well, I've done that, Pastor. I don't know how many times Jesus is going to forgive me. Well, he told us how we're going to forgive people. Yes. Are yes. you here? Seven times? No, seven times seventy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Amen. And that's just a that's just a saying, brother and sister. Okay? Uh -oh. we are, we, God is the same way that He act, He tells you and I to be. Yes. If we're willing to count, He's willing to forgive. We need to be willing to let it go. We need to get him, be willing to get up from a praise place of prayer and lift our hands to God. Oh, thank you, God, for forgiving me. Yes. Yes. Thank you for washing me. Yes. Thank you for the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Yes. Prayer and supplication. Make your request be made, made known unto God. Listen to this. We do that. And the peace of God, 
which passes un right. all understanding. Uh, yeah. How are you so calm? How are you happy? I know what's going on in your family. I know what's going on in your life. How are you? How are you at peace? How can you laugh? Oh my! <laughs> I got a peace that passes all understanding. Hallelujah! Why? Because I've laid it into the hands of Jesus. Thank you. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna fret about it. I prayed about it. I thank God. I'm going to go on and walk in the joy of the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. And the peace of God which passes all in this time. I'm getting pretty close. Are you able to do that or no? You got it? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. amen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. Listen, folks. The devil is a liar. Yes, he is. Yes, you know, Jesus he is. doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and ever. The devil doesn't change either. Amen. He was a liar back then in the garden. Yeah. He's a liar before then. Yes. <laughs> He's a liar today. Yes. All right. He's going to be a liar tomorrow. That's right. Are you here? Come on now, God has kept you. Uh, he said he was going to get you. Oh. Uh, God kept you, didn't he? Yes, he did. Through every battle you've ever faced. He didn't fail you. He kept you. Okay, and he's going to keep you. That's right. The devil is a liar. He's the father of lies. Listen to what we need to do. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, don't let all those negative thoughts stay in your mind. Right. Amen. Uh, get them on a good report. Yes, Look, we talking Ooh. about we be talking about country music. Now, how's about some good country gospel music? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Yes, sir. I heard one not too long ago. He said that I went down a beggar and I came up a millionaire. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, I went and prayed at an altar. And I went up there as a pauper and a beggar. But Jesus saved me. He blessed me with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Yes. And now I am rich in Almighty God. Amen. I'm not what I used to be. Amen. There has been a change in my life. Amen. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, pure whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Yeah. Those things that you have both learned and received and heard and seen of me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Yeah. Thank God tonight, brother and sister, we have a strong tower. Yeah. We have a hiding place. Yes. He doesn't change. Amen. Maybe we've been letting the battle get the best of us. We can change tonight. Yeah. We can take our place in victory in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Tonight as we bow our heads and we close our eyes and oh, reverence to God. As my wife begins to play, begins to sing, we're going to come and pray. Oh, Jesus. Bring him oh, to Jesus. Jesus. Cast all your care oh, upon Jesus. him. Jesus, let it be all. He cares for you. Oh, he cares for you. There be any good report, my friend. There is a good report. Yes. Thank on it tonight. Oh, let us come and pray. God bless you tonight is our prayer. Thank you, God.